to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. I'm sure you guys saw this uh, floating around yesterday, but we have to play the audio because, you know, Jill Biden, she uh, she was being dragged yesterday. Joe? Jill. Jill. The wife. Jill. Dr. Jill. Dr. Jill Biden. She was addressing progressive Latino nonprofit group called Unidos U.S. in San okay. Antonio, Texas, right. okay? Where she said one of the group's former presidents, his name is Raul Isaguirre, you know, he built, he built it with diversity in mind. Here's a piece of her speech. But we can't get those things on our own. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx, as beautiful what? as wait, the Blossoms of Miami. Wait. Congratulations. And as you unique yourself. as the breakfast tacos here in San Antonio. What? <laughs> see, now. Wow. See, wait, time out. I, I, I never listened wow. to this audio. And everybody was up in arms about ta her talking about unique breakfast tacos in San Antonio. That's not the headline. No, that's not What totally the hell's a Bogoda? That's Bo what Bodega. I'm saying. That's what I'm offended. Bodega. What? She said Bodega or Bogoda? She Bo said Bogoda. Bodega. She no. read it straight through. You might have to play it again. No. But we can't get those things on our own. Raul helped build this organization with the understanding that the diversity of this community as distinct as the Bogodas of the Bronx. She said Bogoda. As she said Bogoda. The blossoms of Miami. Congratulations. So people obviously you were like, yourself. oh my God, she's comparing Latinos to tacos, right? That's I'm not, not offended at that. I'm offended at the Bogodas. I, I never had a San Antonio breakfast taco. And I'm I hear sure. it's a thing. No, no. And they're by, they're, I'm sure they're delicious. A thing. <laughs> See, See, that, honestly, that was not offensive. That's people reaching because they hear the word taco and go, this must be offensive. No, she was trying to hit multiple parts of Latino American culture. Well, not only that, but she somebody, botched. Probably, somebody probably told her. That that's a thing there, that's of course. That's a thing there. And she it is, know. because when I was looking on social media, anyone from San Antonio were like, it's a thing here. <laughs> by the way, it's not just a thing there. I just had breakfast tacos. Tacos last week in LA. It's but, a, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. Period. Nobody told her how to pronounce bodega. <laughs> See, that's, that's where we. That, that that's is where the I'm offensive offended. piece. What is that? Congratulations. You played. I, so, I was telling Bogodas? Roseburg like no one sat down with her and broke every. This is, we're so, gonna go through this speech. <laughs> so here it, it's very interesting because her husband is the gaff master. Oh is, my I mean, gosh. Joe Biden is gaff central. He is. I mean, he gets gaffing. But I mean, he's all—he's basically Jim Gaffigan. He's, a, he's such a gaffer. But Jill Biden? No, she's—I did I, You're a doctor, <laughs> and I think you're an Bogodan. educator. What is a bodega? Congratulations, <laughs> you played yourself. Listen, a lot of people don't know the word bodega outside of New York. It is a, especially white people. It's a New York thing for sure. Bodega. It's not called a in LA. It's not called a bodega. No. In DC, no. it's not called a bodega. No. It's only here. Yeah. And we know here, there's even then a lot of arguments about what constitutes a bodega versus As there should be. versus sure. a pharmacy or a drugstore or, or a deli. Mm -hmm. The deli bodega line we know is very tough. Yeah, people are people fight on it. Some people say if the floor quality is too nice, it instantly becomes and a deli. There, and if there's not a cat laying on the right. bread, it ain't a bodega. A bodega. And, and and then some say, uh, you know, the second you see a deli, a real proper deli counter, or certainly a salad bar, you right. no longer oh, it's not call a bodega. It. You that's can't call it a bodega. bodega. No, it's it ain't a got deli. No quarter water. It ain't a bodega. That's a deli. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, now, now, salad now, let's bar go to, let's deli. Go to, now, we have salad a bodega bar. department here. A bodega, bro. A bodega right. department. Don't, just, no, just, don't ever disrespect. Don't ever call don't, it a bodega. Don't, don't ever call it what a bodega. What would you like to say to Jill Biden right now? You as a former bodega <laughs> owner, Kathy. Yo, learn how to read. <laughs> because I'm sure it didn't, it didn't, the teleprompter didn't say bogada. Oh, it might have. It did. Maybe it did. Somebody learned how to write. got Ron Burgundy. Right, Exactly. Damn, exactly. <sighs> and for further clarification, Cass One, what is the difference between a bodega and a deli? Usually the owners. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's a Cass. fact. It's usually the, it's usually one. It's usually either the owners or two. If it's too nice, bro, come that on, that's dope. a deli, man. You got a salad bar? That that's a deli, bro. I feel you. Yeah. Rosenberg, what you got today? Got a couple things. Uh oh, here we go. He's lining oh, them up. No. no, this one I'm gonna stay. I have to stay calm. Don't try to get my goat. I'm gonna I'm stay okay. okay. This is that, that means get his goat. Here we right. go. Don't get this, extra saucy. This, this headline in the New York Post. Uh, WFAN routes ESPN radio. Wow, you guys got smacked up, huh? 
Congratulations. No, that's you not played yourself. I wasn't going to give us the congratulations, though. I appreciate You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. We lost the spring ratings book to our competition. Uh-oh. Okay. And you think I'm going to get up here, as I normally would a long time ago, pre-divorce Rosenberg, different guy. Mm. And I would have attacked Craig Carden, who's been at times a monster to me. But it's okay. I'm not Wait, did he go to jail or something? He did. He he did went, went to jail. Yeah, came back. Yeah, he's back on the air, and now his show. Yeah, like a gambling problem, or what was his deal? I don't want to get into the whole thing. He it was had like bad. a yeah. There was like a ticket scheme and gambling. Oh, he's running a pyramid scheme. He was a scammer. Yo, shout to the scammers, man. So that's not what it's about. He he. he listen, he does a, a good show. I'm not I'm not debating. It's not my cup of tea, but obviously it works. What I'm upset about is the New York Post. New York Post. Well, First you're one, upset about. Uh, the post doing what the post does. Congratulations, Bro. you played yourself. But why is it always leaning? They always lean right, even on this. Like their show is clearly the appeal. The appeal exists out there to go right in general. Well, you mean like politically? Right? Yes, like that. It's 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 subliminal. But wait, it's but there. I thought y'all was trying to keep politics out of sports. So I don't how mean is sports I don't mean right? I don't mean politics. I don't mean politics exactly. I mean how do white I boy racism. Is not, that what not, you're really I, trying I, to I'm, say? I'm not going to go as far as saying racism. I will, because that's what usually people are coding when they're saying, oh, your show leans right. Well, we don't talk about politics, but it's usually a bunch of white boys, white boying. That's, and, I'll, and, I'll say it's white boys, white boy. It's white boys, white boy. And that's it. <laughs> I, I don't want to go as far as saying racism. Y'all know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, white... but, yo, but here's the problem, and now we've got to go. When white boys are white boying, it's based in racism because it's in a, a racist country called America. Right. So it's racist. Right. In, in, unless you're making a, a unless you're making a direct attempt to not be that. Unless it now there's overt racism and there's kind of like coded racism. There's different versions of it. Right. But white boys, white boy. White boys. So my point is, my point is with the white boys, white boy. <laughs> of true. course, of course, when they beat us, they write about it like the world's biggest slaughter. They say well, because you're a liberal hack. Kay and company enjoyed the fact that they beat Carton and Roberts in the fall. Yes, we just beat them in the fall. Okay. And now they're saying it was a bit of a surprise then, but now Carton and Roberts are destroying Kay and company in the ratings. It feels like the fight might be over. Yo, bro, you cover ratings for a living. It's over? So they say they got so much momentum that y'all it's are over. Well, Oh, no, that's it. We're just going to go skating down Pack the hill. Pack it up, Kay. Pack it up. Pack it up, LaGreca. That's, that's it. I'll tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you what happened. Just hit the button on on Andrew Moore. Congratulations. I'm going to tell you what you happened. You played yourself. I, I, I remember when LaGreca cut his hair. Mm. It's the mullet. Mm. When white boys are white boying, they need a mullet around. And if you guys want to get the ratings up, LaGreca, bring, bring the, the mullet, mullet back. Bring the mullet back. Bring the mullet back. He needs a now, mullet. Now, on the complete other flip side of my radio life, just one quick one. I mean... Party in the back, business in the front. Let's get it going. And I just want to say, anyone who thinks that it the fight is over and we're not going to win in the ratings again, just hit them with the button, please. Congratulations. Now you know. You played this yourself. Is a, this you should is, show up with a rat tail. This is an... <laughs> <laughs> it's just an absurd... Anyone who follows stuff you wear like your this gold knows. Cha- do you wear your gold chains to ESPN and take them off? Take no them more, off. Can't wear them. You gotta start white boy. You gotta get back to dirty t-shirts. We can't, but like... Not you, cutting your you hair. You walk in there two chains... Right. I walk in two chains. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, no, you played our yourself. show is different because if you were to listen to the two shows, when you hear our callers and you hear the kind of people that listen to us, we appeal to a different crowd. We're three white guys also. We just appeal to a, lo- a broader audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people feel comfortable on the program. So you guys probably have more people, but maybe because they're white boy and heavy, they have a real emboldened, passionate, right. small group Engaged. of individuals ready to go to war. Pick up trucks. Got, you got guys. Mm-hmm. Now, Guys, do, you think, do you think do you think that their audience would definitely show up to the January six oh at the God. White House mm-hmm. versus your audience? Like, which audience would show up January okay. six? That's a great way of asking the whole thing because yeah. it's not about the content that they're no, doing. No, it's not. I'm not saying their entire audience is showing up on January sixth. I'm saying beyond a shadow of a doubt, more of their audience <laughs> is showing up on. January Congratulations, 6th. you played yourself. <laughs> 